So did anybody afterwards have any uh, worries or thoughts of <laughs> happening again? Or I don't know if they want us. <laughs> Every time you saw a thunderstorm, <laughs> you kind of worried about it again? Or is it something that... A little bit. A little bit? It's something you don't forget. Yeah. yeah I'm sure it was frightening enough that you take precaution. Yeah, you see the black cloud coming out, and you see the tree start to bow a little bit, and a little bit of hail, you know, and you think, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Panic. Panic. Yeah. Right. Panic right now. More respect the weather. I mean, along with him, he always respect the weather now. Along with him, too. <coughs> well, after that, he always wanted to sleep in the basement any time we get a thunderstorm. Yeah. That, that's understandable. <laughs> <laughs> after something like that. But he also had to go to therapy for a while, too. Yeah. Now, bigger the better, huh, Pam? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Lots of late. <laughs> hey, you're going to get it, you're going to get it. We just. More thankful the four of us are here. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. about the ninety-four that didn't make it. Yeah. yeah. And how long did it take your family to realize that you were okay? Because there oh, were no cell day. phones or anything back then. Well, we, well, we we were home. We was home. We were home that night. And did they know that it had gone through right no, before? No. They no. didn't know. My wife was. She was home sick with a strep throat that night. <clears throat> So since he was in the house by herself, she had every door locked. The storm doors were locked. Yeah. Uh, every door was locked. So, you know, there was no way to get in the house. Yeah. So at that time, we had uh, patio doors that was had locked on the outside, the key locked on the outside. That's yeah. how we got in the house. <laughs> and she thought somebody was breaking in the house. Because, you know, now we have... You know, with all the uh, technology we have, right, right. news travels a lot quicker, so. Yeah, but no, they, they didn't know nothing about it, because they didn't have to get home and told us, you don't have to believe it. Yeah, he, he called me the next morning about 10 o'clock and said, oh, it was canceled. The camping trip was canceled because a tree blew across the road. Can you come pick me up? <laughs> well, you know, I pitched a fit because it was a... a my weekend. They were gone. It was taking my weekend, my free weekend. And, and when I saw it, yeah. I could only say three words. The whole time was, oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> well, you guys have any other thoughts that. Yeah, if you'd like to. I, you've well, been pushing all know, day, so. I don't know if we want to do that now. Or later. You could do you that. You had to get we, that license. What? You had to get that license. That's the yeah, Oh, that's, that's right. Yeah, well, since the park manager's not here, we'll waive that whole special agreement thing. But there he's been pushing go. all day to sell autographs. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that's interested. Yeah. Is, what is it? That's just an autograph for $2. $2 for the autograph, four for the autograph picture, right? <laughs> you have to provide the picture. <laughs> and the pen, right? And the pen. I don't even have a pen. <laughs> well, we have some pictures for you guys. Here. Anybody can have them too. This is actually just, just we printed these out for you guys. This is actually a uh, a picture of the actual thunderstorm from the radar at Penn State University that day, hmm. and you can actually see the circulation of the tornado back here, just after it hit these guys. So this is this is an old radar image we put over on top of Google Maps. So if anybody wants to take an image with you, you're more than welcome to take one. There's a whole pile of them over here for you guys. Thank so, you. I'm going to give these to you guys here. This is an old radar image. <coughs> dug, dug that up out of our archives. I'll bring it up to you guys. This is the... here? That's the tornado. Yeah, the That's swirling. The right there. So you essentially... Thank you. Thank you. You essentially went through all that thunderstorm to get to that tornado. This is your clear spot right here. See? That's the little wedge of dryer that came in. That's that clear spot that you guys saw. 
just before the tornado hit. Uh -huh. See how big it was. That the spot right there was the... That's the tornado, right? Where this, this is called the hook echo back here. Mm -hmm. This whole thing's circulating very fast behind the thunderstorms. The whole thunderstorm is circulating, which is the hook echo. And you guys were probably right mm -hmm. about here. So this is just about maybe five minutes after it hit you guys. And okay. And that was taken by uh, Dr. Greg Sporfs from Weather Channel. He was, up at, he was a professor at Penn State University who taught me meteorology, and he was up at the uh, up at the uh, radar. We said we used to have a radar at Penn State University, and we we're all stuffed in there that night watching the radar. He was taking pictures of the uh, radar scope and got that got the picture of the uh, tornado. So, actually sent a copy to him too. So cool. <laughs> uh, if anybody else wants a copy before you leave tonight, it's a whole pile of them up here for you guys to take with you if you want a copy of it. There you are, right there. <laughs> you know why I can see that? Huh? Can't you see that moving? That's you flapping. <laughs> That's Kenny flapping in the doorway, right there. <laughs> they say I need glasses. Well, are we able to play the on there, or should we do it on the other DVD player? There's a there's a short little clip from the. Uh, 10th anniversary of the tornado, featuring, of course, these gentlemen up here. So I figured we'd show that, kind of bring that back up a little bit. And that's